Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host, Jennifer. I have a lot to cover today. I hate making long videos, but this one's probably going to be on the long side, so that's just a, a warning for you. It's been a very busy couple of weeks. Um, my sister came here from Michigan. She took a 15-hour train ride with a one-year-old to visit. And I am incredibly grateful for that. She came and we celebrated my daughter's 14th birthday with her. And, you know, it's kind of funny family. Um, I have a sister who lives 20 minutes away from me and refused to come to the birthday party for really stupid reasons. And it's kind of funny that, you know, I have one sister who I've done incredibly a lot for and she wouldn't drive 20 minutes if I was laying in a ditch dying. And I have another sister who would come on a 15-hour train ride with a baby for a birthday party. <laughs> Family is strange. But I'm not going to get into the drama. Um, family sucks sometimes. You know, people suck. I'm really grateful for my little sister for coming all that way because I know that it was not an easy, an easy experience carrying all that stuff with a baby and... We had a good time though. I had a really good time and I cried hysterically when I dropped them back off at the train station. And to have a little more time with her, we actually drove them up to DC, which is not, I, DC traffic is terrible. It, it's terrible. It is actually as bad as LA traffic. If you've ever heard about LA traffic, like it's bad. But um, we had a lot of fun. We went to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll add some, some photos of some of the stuff we did. We went to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. We did a little bit of shopping, not a lot. Um, we just, we, we kept busy doing stuff. We had a couple of pool days, which was awesome. The baby loved the pool. My kids love being in the pool. I love being in the pool. So, um, yeah, let's get on to some yarn-related stuff. What do you think? Um, I have I have here some yarn that I dyed because I wanted to make us all matching tie-dye trip. This is not, I didn't tie-dye this one. This is store-bought, but I can't find the one I made. It's in the laundry somewhere. Um, I made tie-dye shirts for me, my sister, and all three kids. And so when we went to the aquarium, we all had matching tie-dye shirts. And my husband, who was not interested in wearing anything tie-dyed that I make, he actually... I bought him a tie-dyed Mickey Mouse shirt that he wore for me <laughs> so that we all had tie-dye on. It was kind of cool. But while I was in there tie-dyeing, I'm like, well, I might as well dye some yarn. So we'll start with the dyed yarn. This may or may not go in the Etsy shop. I'm still debating. But um, there's a little story behind this one. This is um, the Cashmere Merino Nylon Blend. And it actually is really soft. But this one is only half the size because this one, I don't know what happened with this one. And you see these were dyed together. This one gathered more of the blue, but also like this one got really, really tangled up and I don't know why. And I actually had to cut half the skein out because it was tangled beyond repair. And I, I, me and my sister both tried to untangle this for hours and I just gave up and I was like, you know what? 50 grams instead of 100. This is not going in the Etsy. I don't know what I'm doing with this because it even, I don't know. I think I overcooked it or something. It feels gross. But this one is, you know, this is, this is much nicer. It's coming off a little more blue than what it is because the light from the monitors is behind the camera and it's reflecting blue light. But this is purples. And so we got that one, but of course that's not my favorite. And then I did, I made some more with the Easter egg dye. I actually really love these. They are not matching. They are not matching skeins. They are two totally separate colors. And because what happened is you can't buy Easter egg tablets outside of Easter. And so I just had to use what I had left over. And this is so, so, so soft. And this smells good. And I actually was able to get a little bit of speckling done on this, which is my first time getting speckling. So I just used the leftover 
Easter egg tablets that I had. <coughs> Pardon me. And I tried to figure out what colors they were by doing the paper, the wet paper towel test, but it didn't work out very well. So they, they're not matching. So we had some orange and I usually don't like working with the orange because if you put orange and green next to each other, you get a god awful brown color. So I was very careful not to put the orange next to the green. And we got some pink there. And there's the green. There's a little bit of blue in there. And then there's a little spot of purple. So that's that's colorway number one. I actually really love these. These are very uh, circus. They remind me of circus. And then this is number two. And one, these were dyed in the same pot together, but like I said, it was just with leftover tablets, so they don't match. And one has purple and one does not. And this has a lot more of the pink. See the colors? I just think it's so pretty. And I I purposely left some white because I really like the way the white looks when it works up together. So I have those. Those are my Day at the Circus color. And then I have some more. I... <laughs> I attempted to use some, I think it was tulip dye. I think I used the tulip powder. It may have been writ powder. It's stuff that I found at the thrift store and it, it worked perfectly for the t-shirts. But I was trying, I was going for fire. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I was going for fire. So I mixed red and yellow on the skeins. And the red did not come out red. I don't know if I didn't use enough red. But the red got on everything. Like I don't know if I ever want to use the red again. Because we used the red on all the shirts. And it ended up on my table. <coughs> oh I'm so sorry. It ended up on my table. It ended up on the floor. At which I stepped in water. And then I stepped in the dye. So it looked like a bloody crime scene. Because my wet footprints. <laughs> went across the kitchen floor. And left like I'd stepped in blood and walked across the floor. So there was red footprints everywhere. I had to hurry up and try and clean that up. Not realizing it's still all over my foot. Then when I went to go mess with the, the yarn. I needed the red to come out again. And I got it on my hands. My hands were red. And I was like um, stupid you have gloves. Put your gloves on. So I had... I washed my hands again. Red still didn't go off. So I put my gloves on to not make it worse. But there was red powder that had somehow got on the inside of my gloves. And because my hands were wet, the red, oh, it was, <laughs> it was a hot mess. It was, and the red didn't even come out red on the yarn. I was going for fire. I wanted red and yellow. And instead we got like strawberry lemonade. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I have three skeins of it, but the red just didn't come out red. It came out this beautiful pink and it was blood red. It was this color on everything. It was actually probably darker than that, but these are beautiful. So we're just going to call it a happy accident. And these are all matching. These are all, these all matched up really well. And I'll open one for you. It's got some beautiful yellow, beautiful yellow in there with the, pink <laughs> so and these are all three these are probably going to end up in my Etsy shop these are so so soft and squishy and beautiful and so that's what we've made um I don't really have any crocheted finished objects I made a rug and I do have photos of the rug and I may put that in the end of the video I'm definitely going to put it on my Instagram I made a rug out of the tw I think it's Twirl Tastic, the Hobby Lobby yarn that is really huge and massive. I will post pictures. I took pictures. Um, to move along, I went to AC Moore for um, the yarn for Z, which I have not mailed out yet because it's been a really busy couple weeks. But I'm, I have the box back there ready to go. I just got to get to the post office. But while I was at AC Moore, I really like, and it's always repackaged. This is the Lion Brand Unique. And I really love, I love the Unique, but I only buy it when it's clearanced out because I'm not, 
I, Lion Brand's not my favorite yarn. I mean, I wish I could say that it was, but it, I'm a Premier Girl. And so they only had one of these, and this was $2. Oh, look at those colors. So pretty. And so to match it up, I got some, uh, this is Tweed Stripes. And I'm just going to stripe it in somehow. So these three are going to go together. These were all $2 a skein. And this is in the color Caramel. Yeah, Caramel. Those are both Caramel. And this is Unique Garden. So we're going to have a Caramel Garden. That's what I got from AC Moore. I have not, not really been shopping at AC Moore in quite a while. Um, they're, they're, um, what are they called? The fashion bags that I usually buy have not been replaced in months. And I even went down to Richmond this weekend and it's all really old, really old yarn, like from one or two years ago. And it's stuff that I've either already purchased and I'm not working, interested in working with again, or it's garbage yarn. And so I'm kind of irritated with AC more that they haven't like replenished that supply in quite a while. But that's all I've got from there. But while we were out, we went to Walmart for, I think, pool chemicals. And my sister wanted to get the baby sunglasses because I don't think she estimated, she like estimated properly how hot the sun gets here. Because <laughs> in Michigan, like it's, it's hot, but it's not, it's not 110 degrees with the humidity. So we went to Walmart and I asked my husband to go down to a Walmart that is way down the road. My neighbor across the street actually is like the pharmacy manager there. And it's like 20 miles down the road in the opposite direction of our normal Walmart. But I remember Crystal from Bag o Day saying that the country or the um, rural Walmarts are usually better stocked with yarn. And she was not lying. I have two Walmarts that I normally go to in our area and... They're both um, in a very busy shopping center area where there's a ton of stores and a ton of people. And the yarn section sucks. It's terrible. It's like a quarter of an aisle and they they have not had any of the mandala ombre. They have not had the, the newer mandalas. They haven't clearanced out anything really. And so we went to this country store, which is a tiny Walmart. It's a tiny Walmart. And... They had clearance yarn. They had the Mandala Happy, which I have wanted forever since the first time. I think Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches posted about it. And so I know I have another bag. I may have to pause and find it. I have, I went, I went there twice. And let me pause so I can get this open. Okay, so apparently I lied because I did buy more yarn at AC Moore and I forgot about it. <laughs> I just found the bag back there with my other Walmart yarn. But last week, um, AC Moore had Mandala for the first time in their store. They have not had Mandala in their store before this. And so they had a doorbuster sale, which was three for 10, which is about normal i mean you it's not like a huge deal but i really like this color so my sister talked me into buying them so i got three of the same color i think she probably wants me to make her a shawl or something but i think i'm gonna keep these for myself <laughs> but so yeah this is the color sprite i believe yeah sprite so i got three of those that was a separate trip to ac more and i forgot about it so back to Walmart. The first time I went to Walmart, they had clearance <clears throat> and it was before payday. So I was really limited with funds because of, you know, my sister being here and extra grocery money and doing stuff with her. So I, I couldn't buy as much as I wanted. So I knew that once payday hit, I was going to go back to Walmart. But what I found at Walmart, this says $2, but according to Crystal from Bag Days Advice, Check the Walmart app for the price. So, <clears throat> I am so sorry, guys. I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what. I got a really itchy throat. This is the Lion Brand Hometown USA in the color Cincinnati Red. 
And I checked the app before we even went into the store and it will tell you in the app, if you search out yarn, it'll tell you what yarn they have and what the price is. And sometimes they will tell you clearance and the clearance price. This was 75 cents, not $2 like it says. The app said it was 75 cents. So I searched these out and I bought up all the ones they had. Now I didn't need red yarn, but 75 cents for this, this is gonna make some really good winter wear. So I got two of those, I think. Nope, I got three of those. Three. And then the Lion Brand, and Lion Brand, Red Heart Super Saver was a dollar in this color only, and this is cherry red. So I got three of those, right? And then this one lonely little mandala cake was a dollar. And it is the Hercules Sparkle. So a dollar for that. So that was my first Walmart haul before payday. <laughs> and then I wanted to go back because I I knew that they had I had seen while we were in the store and their 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 craft section is probably a quarter of the store. The store was so small, but the craft section was huge, and there was a whole aisle of yarn, like a whole aisle. And they had. The Mandala Happy. I have wanted that and wanted that and I cannot find it anywhere local to me. So as soon as I got paid, I ran back and grabbed some. And of course, these are overpriced. They were $5.88. But I really, really like the color. And while I was there, I found another one of these 75 cents. Bought that. And then these were $2.00. The Karen Simply Soft Tweeds. And they only had two of those. So I got both of those. Two dollars. And this is in the color Gray Heather. And then, you don't need to see that. Because that has nothing to do with you guys. <laughs> um, I, I got some of the Wilton's food coloring. Because Rebecca from Chemnitz uses the, the Wilton Violet a lot. And I really wanted to try it. This was only $1.75. Now I just need to buy some more yarn to dye. And I also got it in blue. And green. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try dyeing yarn with some of that natural food dye. And while we were hitting up the clearance aisle, I'll show you what else I got. I'm trying to get it out of the bag. And yes, there's crinkles, because right now. I know you can't tell by looking at just right here. This room is a hot mess. It is an actual disaster. I just bought a new shelving system at the thrift store. I found a six piece individual shelving system from Pottery Barn Kids at Goodwill for $35. Six different pieces. So it's gonna come in here and we're gonna redo this whole room over this next couple of days and I have a lot of yarn in boxes and stuff that need to be put onto shelves. I'm going to just tear this room apart. But anyway, I got some buttons. These were all a quarter. Okay. I got some buttons for like cowls or stuff like that. So got lots of buttons. This one's really pretty. That one's my favorite. I got another one of the black. These are all a quarter. I got a wooden button. And then... I got two packs of needles for a quarter and a needle threader for a quarter. I've never used one of these, but I mean, hey, if it works, why not? And of course, this has nothing to do with you guys either, but I got some hair mask. <laughs> so that's from Walmart. Trying to go as quickly as possible. I don't want this to be an hour long video, but I have a feeling it's gonna be because I got a lot going on today. All right. Next is probably gonna be Premier Yarns. I actually have another order that I order. I've been ordering, I've been placing an order a week. I know that's terrible, but they've been having really good sales and I can't help myself. So I believe I don't even know how much I paid for some of the stuff. I should probably open up, open up my uh, 
account. And I'll go over the order with you guys because I forgot. I think this one I placed two, I think it was two weeks ago. And I don't remember what I paid for any of it. <laughs> it's been, it's been really crazy. It's been really crazy. Um, cotton, cotton, I think this is the right one. Okay. And I think this might have been the dollar sale. I think this was the dollar sale. I'm not positive. Don't hold me to that. Because apparently this shows me the regular prices and then it shows a huge deduction of $80. So I'm going to say that this was probably the dollar sale. So I think these were all a dollar. So I got one of the washies. And the reason I got this is just because I, uh, I think I needed to make the 10 because it was 10 for 10 sale. And so I think I needed one more for 10 for 10. And I think that's what had happened. And then I got, I got some of this Primo yarn. I have some of this that I got previously in, I need to slow down because I'm trying to rush and my brain is not going that fast. I got some of this in my mystery bags at the beginning of the year and I like it. It's baby yarn. It is a three weight and it is 100% acrylic, anti-peeling fiber, 273 yards. I got the purple and this is the color lavender. I got two of these and yeah, there's crinkling. Everything's in bags because I'm trying to, trying to rearrange everything. And then we got blue. Royal blue. I got two of those. Oh, I got pink too, apparently. All right, so there's the pink. It is bright pink. So we got bright pink, blue, and purple, right? And then I got some of the fluorescents. And this is fluorescent yellow and azul blue. <laughs> azul is. Spanish for blue. Pretty. And I got the fluorescent yellow because I have the fluorescent orange, purple. I think I have all the colors now. I know I have the green too. So I have all the colors left. And then I got the Premier Cotton in Americana because I'm going to make my husband some washcloths probably for Christmas. Um, yeah. I'm making, I'm making a lot of I decided two years ago, I think it was, or maybe it was last Christmas that really like drove it home to me. There are a lot of really ungrateful people in my family and I still buy for them for Christmas because everybody deserves Christmas. And even though they're, I have issues with them, I still... I want them to have something from me for Christmas because I'm not petty and I'm a good person and I'm not going to let them make me not a good person. But I decided that I'm not spending my money on them anymore, but I will make them something. And so I just figured last year really drove it home for me for a lot of reasons that Christmas is going to be homemade. I'm not purchasing gifts anymore. I am. I mean, my kids get presents that I buy. My husband, obviously. My husband's grandmother, who is like everything to me, they get purchased gifts along with homemade gifts. But like my nieces, um, my sister especially, um, they get homemade. My younger sister, however, she gets both. Um, and my niece, Adora, gets both. Um, just because they're... They... <sighs> I'm getting really personal with this today, but when my dad died last year, my little sister stepped up and she's only three years younger than me, but she stepped up in a huge way when I absolutely needed someone. And she's, she's been my rock. And so she's in a different category than the rest of my family. We'll just put it that, we'll put it that way. Okay. Back to yarn. Cause I'm getting way off subject. Okay. So I got some of the spangle. Because I bought this previously and I really like it. And it 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 looks so pretty mixed with another yarn. And I mean, it makes that together. I don't know if I like that, but I have a lot of green yarn. This is green and gold. Super, super sparkly. So I've got two of those. I really like those. 
And those actually might go with some of the cotton fare that I got. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. I don't like that either. But anyway, I got two of these. And this is the color Sunshine Day. And I got two orange. And this is persimmon. And that is, yep, that's my Premier haul. And all that was only $20. Yeah. Well, with shipping it was $30, but it's 20 skeins of yarn for $30 is not bad at all. <clears throat> I'll try to stick this back in the bag. Because God help me, I need more room. I have a lot more to show you. This is why I needed a new shelving system. Because this is all in boxes. Okay. I think the last of my haul, by the way, I got this at the thrift store. So pretty, right? It's enough to make a small cowl. Oh, last but not least is my last DBNY order. This is all dollar yarn. Dollar, 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 right? So everything I show you is a bag of five for a dollar. All five skeins, one dollar. Yes. But if you add in shipping, so for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I got nine bags for a grand total of twenty-two sixty-nine. And I think if I did the math, it's like sixty cents per skein at the end. I don't remember what the math is. I might be wrong, but it's not bad. Okay. So for starters, I wanted to get some more of the Dark Horse Fantasy because I really liked that in my last order. And this is, it's decent yarn. Like I really, it's soft. And this is in the color Coral, I believe. I think that's what, it doesn't say on the label. It's just a color number, but this was in the color Coral. And I just, I really like this yarn. So... I probably should have ordered more of this, but again, I'm trying to watch my funds. Yeah, we'll stack it on the side. Okay, I got the coral. This is like a light pink. So I got a pack of the light pink. And what was funny, is remember last time I told you the purple was a little rough? The light pink is a little bit rougher. I mean, it's not as bad as the purple, but it's a little bit rougher. I cannot wait to get this on my shelving system, but I have to clear this room out. And then I have, I have a closet on the other side of this wall that is one of those under the stair closet. So it's got a slanted ceiling and it is absolutely jam packed with stuff I've made and like extra balls of yarn, like my scraps and mostly stuff I've made. And I think I need to, it's time to go through that and either try and sell it for cheap or donate what I don't sell. And there's a lot. There's a lot. Because I make it and I put it away. And I make it and I put it away. And I'm like, oh, well, this could be a Christmas gift. And I put it away. And what's really bad, my daughter's only 14. My son is only four. And I told her, put this blanket away. I made this blanket for my future grandchildren. <laughs> and she thinks I'm out of my damn mind because she has no intention of ever having children. She's never even, like... She's not interested in boys yet. Thank God. Thank God. And so she thinks I'm crazy. But, you know, oh, this is for my future grandchildren. And I clearly have lost my mind. Clearly. And then I got some of this. This is like baby stripes. This is like pink and blue. And I just noticed this one's like way a bolder color than the rest. But, yeah, this feels real soft too. It's open. It's real soft. So I got that. And then... I wasn't sure, I was not sure about this yarn, because it's really hard to tell on their website. Their pictures are terrible. I thought this one was open. And we'll open it. I wasn't sure about this yarn. This is called Dark Horse Celebrate, but it looks pretty. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. The label pops off every dang time. Their labels are terrible. The glue is terrible. Anyway, I wasn't real sure about this. This is only 100% nylon. It's only 76 yards. Okay, but I really fell in love with the colors. 
This yarn is really weird. Let's see if I can show you. That's one strand. So it has what looks like boucle on both sides and then there's like this weird gathering of like shiny in between. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this but it's gonna be fun messing with it. Because with this kind of yarn, you can actually crochet along this edge right here and attach it so you'll still have the openings. Or you can crochet over the whole thing, which I don't think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to crochet through the holes. It'll be neat to uh, mess with. And it's soft. It's pretty soft. This uh, fluffy part is really soft. And then the shiny nylon just feels like thread in the middle. So I got it this pink. And like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to make with any of this yarn, but I am going to have fun trying. So have fun trying. I think this might, I can't even get that back in. Okay, so we got five of the pink. Okay. That don't fit back in. And then I got lilac. Look how pretty. Right? And then I got, oh, this is the one that's open. I ain't taking that back out because. And then I got. Got baby blue. So, let me show you. Oh! See how beautiful these colors look together? And then I got... I got mostly this yarn. Don't know why, but I did. I got green. And variegated yellow that just fell on the floor. I'll show you that side. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And variegated blue. Beautiful, right? So, that'll be fun playing with. Try to get everything thrown back in the box. That's what I have. <clears throat> Those are all my purchases. Like I said, I made a rug. I may put pictures in the end of this video. Um, I'm, the, I'm probably gonna have a whole slideshow at the end of this video. <laughs> If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, I don't care. No big deal. Um, I also made, I don't know what else I made. I am working on a watermelon shawl with my pink bamboo pop. And it is going really slow, but I will show you that when I'm done. And um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be ordering from DBNY again. I like their yarn. This order took forever to process. And I had some issues with the website. And I just... The shipping went up. The shipping went up significantly. Um, I tried to do a similar order to this. And instead of... What? $13 for shipping which was this order, it was like $25 for shipping. And it was about the same size as this order. So that made no sense to me whatsoever. So I left everything in the cart and I debated over it for several days. And I was like, well, you know, it's still a decent price, but no, because this yarn came out to about 60 cents a skein. And with the shipping on the next order, it was way more because I was ordering the Main Street. And the Main Street yarn went from a dollar a dollar bag to now it's $3 a bag. So from $3 a bag and then they doubled the shipping. I was like, you know what? Something is fishy about this. And then they have two different prices listed for shipping. One is UPS and one is United States Postal Service. And... Depending on the size of the order, the price changes. So the UPS order would have been cheaper to ship for the size order in my cart. I hope you guys are following along with this. But the last time, the post office would have been cheaper to ship. And so I chose that option and then they sent it to me UPS anyway. So I'm kind of confused as to how that works. Do they just like randomly pick what's cheaper for them and then just charge you whatever for shipping? I don't know. And so I just, I found that kind of fishy. So yeah, 
I'm just, I don't think I'm going to order through them again. I like the yarn I got. And I don't know. In the future, I may order some more of this after I've actually used it. <laughs> right now, I don't need any more because I have, I think I have five bags of that total. And I just don't need any more. Especially when I have this to work with. Because I prefer Premier. I mean, I just do. Um, yeah, so I have no idea how long this video is. I hope it wasn't too long. I will have more videos coming up. I may actually, once I get this room put together, I may do a yarn room tour. But you have to understand, there's exercise equipment in here. <laughs> this is also my gym. So I have a recumbent bike back there and I have an elliptical right there. And that's, and then my office is here. So it's a small room that has a lot of function to it. So that's why I'm really excited about getting that shelving in here. And I was thinking about doing away with the big computer and trying to get a laptop maybe for my 40th birthday next month. But I don't know because I kind of like the setup I have in here. I have two screens and the reason I have two screens is because when I'm doing my photography thing, I can have work on one screen and then I can actually process images on the other screen. And I just, I don't want to go back to using a laptop to do that because it is so, so tedious. It's, especially when you're working on a small monitor for a laptop and then you got those stupid little, I mean, I'm used to editing because I do a lot of, um, color enhancement and um, photo enhancement using the mouse. So I actually use the mouse to draw in on the picture to add effects, add lighting, add shadow, add blurriness. Um, and I can't do that on a laptop. So I know you really, you really didn't come here to hear photography tips, did you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm rambling. I am. I know that there's more to show you that I'm forgetting. I know there is. And I'm afraid I'm going to get into this big giant destruction of this room. And I'm going to go, oh, I forgot to show them that. And then I'll regret it. I know what I forgot. To I'll be right back. All right. So that may have been a second to you guys. That was like 10 minutes. <laughs> I had to go find what I put in the closet. And I grabbed the rug. And while I was up, my daughter asked me to make her some eggs for breakfast. So... She made herself hash browns and she just always pops the yolks. So she's like, Mom, can you just make me a couple of eggs? Yeah, I pulled my hair up. So I don't want hair in her food. Anyway, so here is the rug that I made. It is very thick and heavy. Very thick. It is like easily an inch thick here. And this is made from the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. And it is so soft and it just, this is probably going to go in here when I get everything situated. I'm going to put this on the floor and I'm going to put Brunhilda on top of it. I thought about putting it in my bedroom, but I know that the dogs will lay on it. And I don't want them messing my rug up. I love my dogs and I, I, lo I love them. I, I treat them like they're my children, but they do not get near my crochet stuff because... The one dog will eat it because that's how she rolls. Anyway, wanted to show you. I went to Joann's. And the reason I went to Joann's, I do not shop at Joann's. I am not a big Joann's fan. When I was buying fabric, I used to go to Hancock, but our Hancock closed. I think all Hancock's closed. I may be wrong about that. But I know our Hancock closed like two years ago. I don't like Joann's. Uh, I think they are ridiculously overpriced on almost everything. And then they give you, oh, they release all this new stuff that's like, okay, here's a ball of yarn. It's $20, but we're going to give it to you for 70% off. You're really just like, it's a scam. I don't like Joann's. I mean, Joann's is also a good 20 minutes from my house. And unless they're having a killer sale, I do not go to Joann's. Um, I just, I'm too cheap to shop there. Anyway, the reason I went to Joann's is they were having a sale that if you buy a regular priced yard of fabric, you can get some of their clearance yarn for a penny a yard. And that's a pretty good deal. And so it's only specific 
because they have a ton of clearance and the clearance was all marked with colored stickers and so it was like the blue the pink and the green or something stickers but the gray and the other colors were not clearanced out so you had to pick and choose and they had like a rack of just what was the penny yarn and so what I did is I went through the store and I found the cheapest yarn that I could buy which was uh, the what is this stuff called it's the flannel feeling material you know what I'm talking about the fuzzy stuff Anyway, this was on sale for $1.99 a yard. This was the cheapest yarn, or yarn. This was the cheapest fabric in the store. You guys gotta bear with me on this video. This video is getting kind of rough here. Okay, so this was $1.99 a yard. And if I bought, for every yard I bought, up to 10 yards, I can get the other material for a penny a yard. So to me, it's $2. It's, it's actually... If you do the math, it's actually a dollar a yard because you take the dollar ninety nine from this, you add the penny from the other one, that equals two dollars, and then you divide it in half because there's two materials, so it's a dollar a yard. If you're following my math, so a dollar a yard is pretty good for what I got. So I got, I think a yard of this. How cute is this? I have no idea what I'm making with this, but it's cute. It's cute. Look at. It. Looks like he has a sombrero. Well, maybe it's a sun hat. I'm gonna call it a sombrero. It's a little Mexican popsicle. Isn't it cute? Anyway, so yeah, I think a yard of that. I got two yards of one of the materials, but I don't remember which one it was. It may have been that one, I don't know. And then I got this one. These were all $1.99. And then this one because I love cactuses my daughter loves cactuses too and then this one love this this is so pretty and that's all the the flannel-y feeling material and then I got two yards of this and this is the I don't know what they call this but it's basically a pre-made dress and I'm gonna make my daughter a dress so I got two yards. Of I gotta make it quick. I'm running out of memory. But anyway, <laughs> my phone is full up. I got this material to make her a dress. I got two yards, which is way more than I need to make her dress. I probably could make a dress for me and her out of this. But it's got the elastic here and here. And you just cut it and sew it. And bam, you got a dress. So you got two yards of that. And then I dropped everything on the floor. The rest of this is going. My daughter wanted this material, so I got this for her. It says shine like a diamond. I got a yard of that. And then these are gonna go to project bags. I got a yard of each of these. I just thought these were so pretty. So you do the math, it was like a dollar a yard, but really the sale said a penny a yard. And this is outdoor material. So this is gonna make a really good, um, like a duffel bag or even a project bag because it is like severely thick and stiff and like, durable because it is it's made for outdoor stuff but I really like the outdoor fabric for project bags because it just it's like a heavy duty canvas and I love lizards isn't that cute well, I'm out of memory on my phone I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here because my phone is completely out of memory and it's yelling at me but I hope you guys have a fantastic day and uh, click like click subscribe give me comments tell me what you think of what I bought and I will be back soon bye